Hey, great to have you with us in the Cafe Kitchen for another Whoop Wednesday. And this week, Mark, we are making one of your recipes, which is part of the Guest Chef series. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, what is it? What is oh, the, the recipe? The, the, the recipe <laughs> on the Guest Chef series. <laughs> well, the recipe is uh, a prawn mac and cheese, and we've got pancetta in there. We've got a really rich bechamel, and we put some uh, white wine in there and a little bit of cream and lots of cheese, obviously, because <gasps> it's mac and cheese. Nice. Uh, pancetta to make it a little bit nicer and tastier from just normal bacon, and then prawns for a little twist. And Zoe from Whoop is with us. And if you've never experienced Whoop before, just sit back, relax, watch this unfold. I'm sure you'll be online ordering your own Whoop box. Because the good thing is with this is that it looks incredible. One of the trickiest things for me would be the bechamel sauce. But when you get a Whoop box, it all comes ready made, isn't it? Which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You whip that up behind, <laughs> yeah. haven't you? Get yeah. it out to everybody. So we that's do all the, the thing with work. Whoop. They do all the hard work mm -hmm. for you. Everything comes colour coded, fresh. Beautiful, and all you need to do is whip it together. So we're going to make it from scratch today. What are you starting with? Yeah, Mark? just to just to show you. So basically, you want to get um, so when you start the recipe, get your pasta on. So just some boiled uh, boiling light salted water. Pop your macaroni in there, and then just cook it to uh, whatever it says on the packet. These are about 12 minutes it's taken. Then I've just drained it off, so it's still nice and hot. As the pasta's cooking, you want to make the bechamel. So that's going to be the glue that glues everything together. So I've just got some melted butter in here. Right. I'm just whisking in some flour. I see how useless of this sort of stuff. It'll be all lumpy. <laughs> so I just well, let yeah. whisk <laughs> it. Yeah. But that's what it is. So melt the butter first, get the flour in, give it a really good whisk, and you sort of end up with this sort of loose paste. But the flour is what's going to thicken everything. You know, you've got to give you some nice flavour and some richness. Yeah. Right, and then just a little bit different from a normal bechamel, we're just going to put a little bit of white wine in there. Oh, OK, now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So just pop that in. Yeah. But this is the key thing now, is you want to keep whisking. You can see how that's thickening. Yes. And then I've got some milk as well. I'm going to pop the milk in. Wine so, and milk? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all going to cook together. It's going to be okay. beautiful. I trust you. So pop the milk in. This looks incredible. Smells incredible mm -hmm. as well. That pancetta. And of course, you know, you don't have to worry about finding the right pancetta because if you get a work box, it comes all ready for you to go. Yep. We sourced out the best, the best quality pancetta for you. So. And yeah. I loved last year, I had the old loot box, it was so much fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> so easy, and that's the thing. Beautiful, delicious recipes. And of course, Mark's created this one as part of their Guest Chef series. So today we're making it from scratch. But of course, when you get your work box delivered to your home, everything that you need is right there. So make sure that you, uh, you know, get online and check them out. This could change your life. <laughs> That's looking good, Mark. Yeah, so it's good. So key thing as well, just add it gradually. If okay. you just dump everything in at once, you probably will get lumps. So grad it, grad, uh, gradually add it and really whisk it. So you see it's nice and smooth. I've just added a little bit of stock in there as well. So continuously stirring. Nice. And then a little bit of cream just for some extra richness. Oh, yeah. You know, you're not going to eat this every day, only once a week. So uh, <laughs> you can make it nice and rich. <laughs> Must be exciting for you too, Zoe, I guess, when you have guest chefs come in and they give you the recipes that they want to create in the work box and you start whipping them together. Yeah, Must yeah. be quite exciting. No, it's great. I mean, it's, it gives me another recipe to keep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just one, one less thing to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. One less thing to um, think about. But yeah, it's, you know, it's great. And it's always learning as well. And, little tricks and yeah. And this is a mac cheese that is next level mac cheese isn't it because we've got the prawns going here, the pancetta's done, Yeah. our bechamel is looking pretty good, no lumps in that. No so you've got this nice thickness here but you, you, another thing with bechamel is you know you can get it nice and smooth but you've got to keep tasting it, you've got to cook that flour out otherwise you'll get that floury taste. Okay, nice. okay so you just want to keep an eye on that so you want to let it come up to sort of like a bubble cook it out a bit, keep stirring it because it is getting quite thick, you don't want it to catch on the base. And then once you're, uh, you know, you cooked out and you've tasted it, you can add your cheese. There's a little bit of cheese going in there. Turn yeah. the heat All right the down stuff. or just take it off because oh. you've got that residual heat which is just going to melt it through. And a little bit of nutmeg as well, which you can just uh, oh. get the ground stuff or you can just grate Beautiful. it freshly. To give it some extra depth of flavour. Mm, everything is smelling delicious. Well, how are we going here, Mark? Oh, wait until you taste it. Right, bechamel is done. It's nice yep. and smooth. We've tasted it. It's cooked out. Mm -hmm. um, prawns, which have just been cooked, we've just roughly chopped them. They go through. And some of the pancetta as well. But we've kept a little bit in reserve because oh. we're going to garnish it after. Oh, I thought that was for me to pick on. But no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, you're lucky you told me that. I was about to eat it. <laughs> so you're going to stir that through the bechamel. Zoe's just toasting some breadcrumbs now. So we're just going to get a nice golden colour on the breadcrumbs. We're going to mix it with some parmesan, 
a little bit more cheese as well, and then that's going to go on top for a nice little texture and another sort of cheese dimension. Nice. The pasta here, so that's all cooked and drained. We're going to yep. pop that through. Nice. And then we've got a little bit of baby spinach, which we're just going to fold through, and then just the heat of that bechamel oh. is just going to sort of wilt it. Good, get your greens in there. Yeah, mm. so you've got your greens in there. Yeah, healthy balance. Well, that's it, yeah. Nice. How are you going against Zoe? Yeah, I'm pleased you're here. I would have tried to put the toaster. Well. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh, can you just do that? Can you just aim at the bottom of the toaster? <laughs> you can. Is that? You yeah. can. <laughs> Look at that. Nice and rich and gooey. You know, it's, it's personal preference now how you want it. You know, if that's a little bit thick for you, you know, you could add a little splash of milk and just loosen it down. I personally quite like it like nice and rich mm. and good. And then you, gooey. you don't need to eat as much. Uh, Eat as much. What's your favourite part about this recipe, Zoe? Oh, I've got to say the, the cheese. cheesy goodness. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> With a touch you of wine. You and me, we speak the same yeah. language. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So we're toasting the bread. That looks <laughs> incredible. And pretty much, wow, it's, looking, it's pretty well, good. What, what are you going to do to finish it, it off? It's, I'm going to put a little bit of chives on top. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I'm going to put just pop some of these on there so you've got some extra texture, the prawns. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with the um, breadcrumbs, and then it's just going to go under a hot grill for about you know three four minutes. You just want to just make everything warm again because you remember you're making your bechamel fresh, your pasta's hot, your bechamel's hot, everything's there. So all More you need cheese. to do is mix it, yes. pop it under <laughs> just a little bit, and different and flavors of go. cheese. And that's a good thing with Whoop, you know. As I said, it's all color coded, and the good thing is is that in this little container here, when you go to make it out of your box, you're going to have all the different flavors of cheese mm -hmm. in one handy container. So everything's ready for you to go. You can whip this up. How long do you reckon it'll take you at home to do this? Well, uh, Twenty minutes. Yeah. Oh, I reckon go. even faster. Even I mean, yeah. faster. We've, we've made this from scratch, <laughs> and it's already made for you. So you just basically, you know, warming it up, frying your things off. Yeah. You can you can be eating in ten minutes if you get, you know, get your uh, skates on. And is there some left over for me? Is there? Yeah, uh, that's right, you know. except for a garnish. <laughs> oh. oh, Mark! <laughs> <laughs> I can have a prawn. Oh, thanks. I'll have the prawn. You a prawn tail. <laughs> oh, I had a prawn tail. I had too. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs> so fantastic. Mm -hmm. And um, Mark, this is going to be delicious. That goes in the oven, and she's all done. Just under the grill. To, yeah. Just under the grill. If you'd like to order your Woot Booty Box and get everything to make this dish without any preparation or fuss, just head along to whoop.co.nz and we have a chance for you to win a whoop booty box on our Facebook page mm -hmm. right now this is very popular so get mm -hmm. entering right now <laughs>